It's your girl, Miss 3D Live, Tasha Mac, Tasha Cubs on a good day, but not Tasha K. How y'all doing today? I'm back with another video. So, y'all, it has been breaking news. We have we have gotten an arrest, y'all. There has been an arrest in Shaquella Robinson's case, you guys. So, they have detained Desiree Jackson, guys. So, she has been detained, and she is awaiting to be deported, to be extradited over to Mexico. So, breaking news. We do have an arrest in the case at this time, and also it is being said that it is more arrest to be coming this week. So, guys, look at this clip. Shout out to Sean Davy Way. He has done a lot of um, coverage on this, and I just wanted to show you guys this clip again. It is being said that Deja Mae Jackson has been arrested and has been detained. So, you guys, again, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Of course, justice for Shanquella. I'm so happy to hear that someone has been arrested. So again, you guys check this clip out. Peace out. I'll give you a quick video from the website Metropoly MX. They're stating breaking news, Dejanae Jackson arrested in the United States. Dejanae Jackson was placed in federal custody waiting for her to begin her extradition process to Mexico. San Jose del Cabo, Baja California, sir. During the night of November 28th, Dejanae Jackson was arrested by Interpol agents. After a controlled judge issued an arrest warrant against her for the crime of femicide of Shanquella Robinson. On October 29th in Cabo, Villa's complex in this tourist destination. Dejanae Jackson was placed in federal custody, waiting for her to begin her extradition process to Mexico, where she will be formally accused of femicide of the 25-year-old businesswoman, Shanquella Robinson. Extradition process took between one week and two weeks, resulting from the procedure that the Attorney General's Office of Justice carried out in the Attorney General's Office of the Republic, and this in turn to the Ministry of Foreigner Affairs of Mexico. Mexico. The Attorney General's Office of the State of Baja, California, sir, managed to prove that the woman who appears in the video attacking Shanquilla Robinson is precisely Dejanae Jackson, as Metropoly MX reported at the time. This information coming from Metropoly MX is coming from the same man, Geraldo, that has been going around interviewing with everybody and leaking alleged information, some true, some not true. So again, I do not know how true this is. I hope that it is true, but in the article, he's stating that the extradition process could take one to two weeks, so I don't know if that means that Dejanae will be a lady with the Interpol agents for a week to two weeks since the extradition process is complete so that they could remove her from the United States and take her back to Mexico. I have no idea. And again, I do not know if Dejanae is arrested. This is just what's being stated. There's supposed to be more information coming from Metropoly MX. But again, I don't know how credible this source is. So fingers crossed. I really hope that Dejanae Jackson is arrested for what she did to Shanquilla Robinson. Oh, my God.